Rear derailleur bent not derailleur hanger got a heavy plastic bag stuck in my rear derailleur of my ever since it has not shifted well no matter how many times I index it and it has significant vibration in the sixth gear no others which is odd. I've taken everything apart and cleaned it thoroughly, double checked to make sure it was put back together correctly, replaced the derailleur hanger although it didn't really seem bent and triple checked to make sure the chain wasn't worn, bike has around 1k miles so didn't think it was and it was not, when I look down it looks like the derailleur is bent slightly inwards, could the derailleur itself have bent? Should I just purchase a new one as it seems to be the last possible variable in the equation and Apex One X11s are around $70, seems to be what a shop might charge to diagnose and fix this, plus I need to wait for at least a month to get to a shop, any help is appreciated. It is entirely possible the derailleur is bent. In shops the usual order of operations when something appears tweaked back there is to address the hanger alignment first, and then if the derailleur is still misaligned to assume that it itself is tweaked. Usually you can see it when holding the bare derailleur and sighting the mounting surface versus the cage, they should be parallel, but it can be subtle. However, the step that hasn't been done here is taking a derailleur alignment tool to the new hanger and corroborating that it actually is in perfect alignment. Some sources say or imply that a new hanger is an automatic cure-all, but that's not necessarily true, especially because 11 speed really has almost no tolerance to imperfect hanger alignment. Some correction may be needed even when it's new. That said, if it's the same misalignment as was present before, that makes this being the problem less likely. Bending things back manually to get you by in lieu of a shop, a new derailleur, or an alignment tool can sometimes be successful. A no special tools hanger alignment consists of poking a 5mm wrench three-way wrenches work well for this into the pivot bolt and giving it the business. Citing the parallelism between the guide pulley and the smallest cog can be helpful. Were you to do this, I'd do it with your old hanger because it's more sacrificial. Remember that you're working in all the directions, not just up and down. One can attempt to use the same method to compensate for a slightly bent derailleur, again just reefing until things look parallel. Sometimes with derailleurs the bend itself is all in the cage and can be manually worked out to some extent, although on a skeletonized aluminum cage like this, that's less likely to work.